everyone welcome back to my channel i am martine and today we are talking art supply favorites my favorite art supplies the things that i love and that i always reach for to date okay so first we're gonna start off with these dell green gouache sticks now they come in all these beautiful colors um and actually this is my favorite <laughs> believe it or not this one is my favorite i use it a lot for backgrounds um in my sketchbook which i will show you Okay, so these are the colors that I have, but I think it comes in various sets. I got these off of Amazon. Um, so just search Dell Green. I'll try to have the link at, in the description. I'm not very good with links and whatnot, um, but Dell Green, D-E-L-G-R-E-E-N. And this is artistic grade so these are artist grade they are really good quality and um, these are one of my favorite art supplies so second and these are not in order of you know I'm just randomly picking out my favorite stuff right now so it's not in any particular order the gra the XL graphite these blocks I love these these blocks and especially the Derwent ink tense blocks love them as you can see these are very well used um, I use them I let my daughter use them and it's so easy to work from because you know all you have to do is have like your water and water and you know your paintbrush and you kind of wet your brush and brush it over the block and do your thing and paint so these two and that goes for this one as well that's that's how I use them some people like literally use the actual block and I've done that too. It's either or. It's whatever is your pre preference. Um, if you pick up the block and spread it across your page or if you use a paintbrush, that's completely up to you. It's your preference on, on how you like to work. All right. Another favorite of mine, another Derwent product. <laughs> is the Derwent drawing pencils. I recently discovered these and um, I have to say I really really like these pencils. They're so soft and um, you know going across paper. Let me pick up another piece of paper here. Like going across paper like they are so soft. This color is Mars Violet, and I love these pencils. Favorite, 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 favorites. So soft, you can see, you can like, cause I'm a colored pencil freak. Um, so, and you can tell a good quality pencil the minute it goes down on that paper and how it's spreading around you can tell and this is quality stuff Derwent always have, has quality products so while I'm out that I should have done a few of the Dell Green gouache sticks for you this is how it goes it goes on the Dell Green like gouache and when it dries it dries very quickly Um, let's try this blue one. This is another favorite color of mine. They dry very quickly and then you can add, you know, you can use this like a back as, as background or as a base, a foundation for a painting. 
and you can add your mixed media onto that. This one is my favorite color, like I mentioned earlier. This one, what's the name of this color? Do they even have names? Hmm, no. Okay, this one is my fave. I don't know why, I just love that so much. <laughs> Let's do yellow. Other good one. See how they come on? And then, like, look, it's so dry already. Already super dry. It takes like two minutes to dry. Yeah. Favorite. These are my fave. You hear me? I love them. Anyway, what else? All right, a favorite of mine is this book, this Canson XL Mixed Media Rough. Okay, I love that and it's um, 114 pound, um, 185 GSM, so it's pretty thick compared to other mixed media papers out there. It really takes a licking all right and keeps on ticking um, the paper there's tooth on there's a little bit of tooth um, it's really good mixed media paper it really delivers um, there's a little bit of tooth if you're going to be using pastels on here you can use watercolor acrylic and I'm just going to show you some of the things that I've done in here this is like a whole slew of different <laughs> things that I used in this abstract. Um, Stabilo woodies, acrylic paints, charcoal pencils, colored pencils. Um, this one is, I think this was the Derwent blocks. Yeah, it definitely is the Derwent blocks. Intense blocks that I use there. This one, let's see, on the back I usually write. I didn't write that one. Um, colored pencils, gouache. It definitely holds up to, you know, the mixed media, you know, purpose. It, see, it says rough surface for wet and dry media. I mean, I really love this book. I'm definitely, once I'm done, with this, this is going to be like a staple for me because it's so easy to pull out and open up and do like a little painting in here without having to pull out, you know, a canvas or acrylic paint. I'm really leaning more towards, you know, more, I don't want to say easy art supplies, but some, you know, I don't have a lot of space. And I have a lot of acrylic paint that's just sitting here because it's such a hassle for me to pull out all the tubes and get out my palette paper and get out my canvas and my easel and all of that. And I guess I could use my acrylic paint in here too. I guess I could do that. Um, that's why I'm kind of leaning a lot more towards gouache um, palettes and hence the next favorite thing that I'm about to show you. Um, especially for sketchbooking. I really love this Hemi gouache, this Hemi gouache um, that I just got last week because I saw so many, I've heard so many good things about it. And I was like, I have to try this. Even though I do have gouache paints, I have like Holbein gouache paints. I have Chiron Dosh gouache paints, but I kind of, when I'm doing things in my sketchbook and playing around, sometimes you don't always want to use your good stuff when you're just in your sketchbook, you know, effing around. So, and, you know, not saying that Hemi, it is affordable and it's not saying that it's not good stuff, but it is, you know, convenient. Like, look at this palette right here. They're soft. They're 
you know, um, as long as you spray them periodically, spray this with distilled water so it doesn't get any like mold or anything like that um, because they do dry out. Um, so you always, if you're not using it, you should really keep the top on when you're not, when it's not in use. Um, and like if you're using this a lot regularly, spray it at least with distilled water at least once or twice a week if you're using it regularly, okay? But again, this is one of these, this is my favorite gouache palette to use in my sketchbook and um, I know there's plenty of videos out, out there on Hemi gouache right now because it's really popping. But I just wanna show you guys, for those of you that are watching me, how it comes on. Mm, there's no smell to it. It's just really good. It just comes on and it dries smooth. Oops. It dries smooth. As you can see, this is the Hemi gouache and you can see how smooth that is, how it comes on. And it's very, very smooth right there. So let's try another color. Oh, that was the same color. <laughs> that was the same color I just used. Duh. Okay. Another color then. Let's do the green. And you could water it down or not, or dry brush it. It still is smooth. Let's do this green. Comes on very smooth. Definitely one of my faves to use in my sketchbook. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that open over here and go to the next thing. My next favorite art supply are these. And I use this as you, if you watch my sketchbook tour, I use this a lot in my sketchbook for mark making. Um, at the end of the day when I just want to be scribbly and abstract I use these a lot and they are super soft as well all right they come on they're a little tacky they're a little waxy but you know they're crayons so and they're water soluble so if you see that let's see, let's see, let's see. all right that's the green, that's the red, and they go on well on top of this gouache, this Hemi gouache. Um, I don't wanna, let's do, let's put it over here. See, it goes on well, oh yeah, I have, this is the Stabilo right here. It goes on really well. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of frame, sorry guys. Um, it goes on really well on top of the gouache, as you can see. So yeah, Stabilo Woodies. I only got, they co this comes in sets as well. I just got the basic set because I wasn't sure if I would like them but I do and I don't feel like I need like a whole set of these like these six colors are enough for me right now because I use them in my mix you know as 
part of my mixed media process so I don't really want oh, I don't really need a whole bunch of colors and it came with its own sharpener which is really helpful because that's a, another thing I was thinking about when I was wanting to buy them I was like how am I gonna sharpen these big jumbo things but luckily it came with a sharpener so that was good all right my next favorite oh let me cover up my hemi gouache because i don't want you to dry out but i've seen people in videos say that they've had their hemi gouache for a long time and it hasn't dried out for them i guess it's it really all depends on like where you are and how regularly you use them. Okay, my pencils. My Derwent Inktense pencils. These things are life. You hear me? Life. I love these. And we are going to put something down on paper with this okay so this what color is this this is deep rose boom we're gonna do the deep rose and we're gonna do another color another not pink let's do the cadmium orange And uh, let's pick a green. I have so many greens. Let's pick a good green. Fern. That's a good color. Let's pick another green. Field green. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. There it is right there. Okay, so now we're gonna put some water on these bad boys and see how intense they are. And this is copy paper, guys. I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared. Um, yeah, look how intense that is. The color payoff is amazing. Yep, look at that. And this is why these are my favorites because you can do your drawing, your scribble, your whatever, and then activate it with the water. Baby, look at that. Mm -hmm. So definitely one of my favorites is these Derwent ink tents pencils for sure all right okay my next favorites in terms of ink are these faber castells pit artist pen brush oops there you go so I just have these six colors and I also have the Pigma brush pens that are like this as well. And these are really have become one of my favorites as well. Especially for this month of October for Inktober um i've done drawings in my pen and ink canson book i've done these this with these pens and i've done this and this 
so yeah these are one of my favorites as well let me show you how they go down on paper they're gonna stay in this book and they don't bleed through okay look they don't bleed through on the other end they don't which is good you see how they have not bleed, bled through the paper that is another reason why I like them. Okay. This is the blue ultramarine. This color is cinnamon. Um, this color is pink mater late. green gold um cadmium yellow and chromium green opaque okay love these pens love these um they they just so smooth they they I mean you can see the lines and that's the thing with brush pens you're going to sorry about banging into the camera you're gonna see you know lines um, but it's just in all I'm learning how to work with them so you don't really see lines like that or it doesn't even really matter especially if you're working abstract or you're doing florals like this i think it just adds to the beauty of the art you know what i mean but it's definitely there's definitely a learning curve like i i really like this okay so and the same goes for these brushes these pens as well let me show you I have these in a in a it came in a set but I'm just gonna swatch this one this is a pink um, then this is a brown there you go and these are the the pigma is the same people that make the micron you know pens this is part of this is the same brand um, all right so my last favorite this video has already come way too long Haya oil pastels Paul Rubin oil pastels I like these a lot these are super duper soft and um, they really come on really nicely onto your paper. Let me get my sketchbook again. It should be dry by now, hopefully. All right, it's okay if it's not. So these right here, this came in a 48 set and also off of Amazon and um, these oil pastels are affordable and very very soft at the same time they're high quality Paul Rubens is a high quality name in art supply and it's affordable so here's how they go on very soft as you can see uh, I'm just going to use my finger and you can rub it in with your finger if you choose to or just use a tool, a rubbing tool, a blending tool. This, so I'm going to get this one out so you can see the richness of the colors the vibrancy these are a fave of mine for sure 
um, oil pastels like I have a love for them but then at the same time I'm a bit intimidated because they're so you know so soft and um, you know there's just a way to work with them that I haven't quite mastered yet but I will look at that red it's so vibrant and beautiful Let's get this one. This color. So pretty and so soft. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. Those are my favorites um, for right now. <laughs> I'm trying to be on a no buy art supply um, phase right now because I do have enough. Um, to work with I have more than enough to work with and I kind of want to use the, the supplies that I have now so like maybe you know there's some things that I want to use up and probably not buy again but um, this is all part of the process of just finding your style finding your process um, working out a workflow for yourself as an artist and um but i don't think i don't feel like i need any more new art supplies so i'm gonna really try my best to not buy any more art supplies but as you know it is hard <laughs> uh you know it, it is hard because they're just so inviting and you're like "Ooh, i want to try that and so We'll see what happens, guys. But anyway, those are my favorites. I hope this helped someone out there to see how certain art supplies look and work. And um, go ahead and like the video. Leave me any comments or questions that you may have um, below. And once again, thank you for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.